In a heart-wrenching turn of events, the Jones family faced the unimaginable when they received the devastating news about their newborn daughter, Abigail, born on August 6, Abigail entered a world where her odds seemed stacked against her from the start, initially informed of an incurable brain tumor, her parents, Erica and Stephen Jones, were determined to cherish every moment with their precious angel. Despite the grim prognosis, the Joneses resolved to surround Abigail with love and affection, capturing the bittersweet essence of their family's journey through a poignant photo shoot, Erica, through a blog maintained by their photographer Mary, expressed the belief that Abigail's life, however brief, held profound purpose. Abigail's medical journey began with the startling revelation of a brain tumor during a routine ultrasound at 30 weeks of pregnancy, the outlook was bleak. With doctors painting a grim picture of her future, yet, amidst the despair, the Joneses remained resolute in their determination to provide Abigail with a life filled with love and meaning. As a nurse specializing in neurology, Erica recognized the severity of Abigail's condition. The sudden appearance of the tumor, seemingly out of nowhere, left the family reeling with shock and sorrow. Despite their grief, they made peace with the diagnosis, steadfast in their commitment to embrace whatever time they had with Abigail. Abigail's birth brought a glimmer of hope, defying the initial expectations of a short-lived existence. However, subsequent tests revealed the aggressive nature of the tumor, prompting difficult decisions regarding her care. Doctors cautioned against treatments that offered little hope of prolonging Abigail's life leaving the Joneses with the heartbreaking realization that they must make the most of the time they had left with their precious daughter in the face of uncertainty. The Jones family chose to bring Abigail home with pediatric hospice care. Determined to fill her days with love and comfort, despite the challenges ahead, they remained steadfast in their belief that every moment with Abigail, no matter how fleeting, was a precious gift to be treasured. The unwavering determination of the Jones family to provide their beloved daughter, Abigail, with the utmost love and comfort in her final moments is a testament to their profound bond and resilience in the face of adversity, rejecting the sterile confines of a hospital's neonatal intensive care unit, they have chosen to surround Abigail with warmth and affection, ensuring that her passing, whenever it may come, occurs in the embrace of her family, nestled in the comfort of her own home. Despite the daunting prognosis hanging over Abigail's head since before her birth, each passing day brings a glimmer of hope to the Joneses. Remarkably, Abigail displays no outward signs of her grave condition, with her serene demeanor and affectionate nature belying the severity of her illness. To an outsider, she appears to be a perfectly healthy and content infant, blissfully unaware of the challenges that lie ahead. Abigail's parents, Erica and Stephen, find solace in the small miracles they witness every day. From the moment they hold her in their arms, Abigail's peaceful gaze and gentle presence fill their hearts with love and hope. Despite the removal of her feeding tube, she continues to thrive, steadily gaining weight and defying the odds stacked against her in the face of uncertainty. Erica clings to her steadfast belief in Abigail's eventual healing, even if it comes at the ultimate cost, she trusts in a higher power to grant her daughter peace and comfort, whether in this life or the next, for the Jones family, Abigail's life, though fleeting, holds a measurable significance, serving as a beacon of hope and resilience in the face of adversity. The remarkable journey of Abigail Jones has captivated hearts around the world, transcending the boundaries of her illness to inspire hope and compassion in all who follow her story, from the initial diagnosis of a lethal brain tumor in utero to the miraculous moments of growth and development that have defied all expectations, Abigail's resilience serves as a powerful reminder of the indomitable spirit of the human soul as Abigail continues to flourish under the loving care of her devoted family. The Joneses dare to embrace each passing day with renewed hope and optimism, against all odds, they have found. A glimmer of light in the darkness, defying medical prognosis and embracing the precious gift of time with their beloved daughter, and though the road ahead may be fraught with challenges, they face it with unwavering determination and boundless love, guided by the enduring belief that Abigail's life, however brief, is a testament to the power of love and resilience in a remarkable turn of events. The Jones family's journey with their daughter, Abigail, has taken a profoundly uplifting twist. Defying the initial prognosis of a devastating brain tumor, what began as a harrowing ordeal filled with uncertainty and despair has blossomed into a story of hope, resilience, and triumphant victory over adversity. It was through the expertise of Dr. 
Mark Kieran, chief of neuro-oncology at Boston Children's Hospital, that the Jones family received a glimmer of hope amidst their darkest hour. Upon reviewing Abigail's MRI, DR, Kieran concluded that the tumor may not be as dire as initially feared. Prompting a journey to Boston for further evaluation a subsequent MRI confirmed DR, Kieran's suspicions, the tumor was not malignant, offering a ray of hope to the beleaguered family, with renewed optimism, Abigail underwent a delicate procedure under the skilled hands of DR, Alan R. Cohen, neurosurgeon-in-chief at Boston Children's Hospital, to remove the benign growth. The successful outcome of the procedure brought unimaginable relief and joy to the Jones family, in a heartfelt message. Shared on Abigail's Joy Facebook page, her parents expressed their overwhelming gratitude and elation, rejoicing in the miraculous turn of events, they marveled at Abigail's resilience and the unfolding of her story as a living testament to healing and perseverance. Dr. Cohen echoed the sentiments of triumph, emphasizing Abigail's remarkable prognosis and the profound beauty of her journey from tragedy to triumph. Despite the sorrowful beginnings, Abigail's story serves as a beacon of hope and Inspiration to all who have followed her courageous battle as the Jones family embraces this newfound chapter of hope and healing, they extend their gratitude to the countless individuals who have supported them along the way, their story, once marked by heartbreak and uncertainty, now stands as a testament to the power of love, resilience, and unwavering faith in the face of adversity in sharing their journey. The Jones family invites others to celebrate Abigail's remarkable victory and to Join them in spreading hope and joy to all those facing similar challenges, their message of perseverance and triumph resonates far beyond their own experiences, touching the hearts of all who encounter it. Congratulations to the Jones family on their extraordinary success story, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the boundless power of love, as they continue on their journey. May Abigail's story serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration to all who face adversity, reminding us. All that even in our darkest moments, miracles can still unfold next, let's enjoy a story that is similar to this one together, he stumbled upon it quite unexpectedly, a peculiar stone nestled among the grains of sand on the beach, with a curious glint in his eye, he decided to investigate further, after all, life is full of surprises, and who knew what treasures lay hidden beneath the surface. It's the thrill of the unknown that drives adventurers like him, those who refuse to simply accept things at face value as he carefully examined the stone. It became apparent that there was something extraordinary concealed within, what appeared to be an ordinary rock at first glance soon revealed itself to be a portal to the past, a window into a world long forgotten, with each delicate touch, he uncovered the ancient relic hidden within, the fossil of a crab, preserved for millions of years, waiting to be rediscovered by an intrepid explorer, the beach held a special allure for him. A magnetic pull that drew him in time and time again, perhaps it was the whispered secrets of the waves or the promise of hidden treasures waiting to be unearthed, whatever the reason, he found solace in the rhythm of the tides and the endless possibilities that lay scattered along the shoreline, in his wanderings, he had encountered many wonders, a pristine sand dollar gleaming in the moonlight, a tiny sea urchin shell nestled among the rocks, a miniature starfish clinging to the sand. Each discovery was a reminder of the beauty and mystery that surround it. Him, a testament to the boundless wonders of the natural world but it was the fossil crabs that captured his imagination most of all, hidden within seemingly ordinary rocks, these prehistoric creatures offered a glimpse into a distant past, a time when giants roamed the earth and the oceans teemed with life, with patience and perseverance, he painstakingly extracted these ancient relics from their stony tombs. Revealing their intricate details for the world to see, his efforts were not in vain. For each fossil crab told a story, a story of survival and adaptation, of evolution and extinction, and as he continued his explorations along the beach, he knew that there were still countless mysteries waiting to be uncovered, still countless treasures waiting to be discovered. For him, the beach was more than just a stretch of sand and sea, it was a treasure trove of wonders, a playground of endless possibilities. And as long as there were stones to overturn and secrets to reveal, he would continue his quest, driven by the insatiable curiosity that burned within him, the journey of uncovering the ancient crabs hidden within the rocks was not without its challenges, Morin, with his dedication to the craft, recounts the trials he faced as he embarked on this ambitious project, he recalls the initial setbacks. 
The frustration of having to restart the process after focusing on the wrong side of the concretion, armed with a combination of tools, a gritty angle grinder and a precise chisel, he meticulously chiseled away at the rock, a slow and laborious endeavor that consumed over 250 hours of his time, including the meticulous editing of video footage documenting his progress. Questions inevitably arose about the value of his labor-intensive endeavor, many wondered about the monetary worth of the fossil crabs once they were meticulously prepped. Morin candidly addresses this inquiry, emphasizing that the true value lies not in the monetary appraisal but in the passion and dedication poured into the project, Unprepped crabs may hold little commercial value, but the intrinsic worth lies in the countless hours spent delicately revealing their hidden beauty with specialized equipment. For Moran, this endeavor is more than a mere hobby, it's a passion project fueled by an insatiable curiosity and a profound appreciation for the mysteries of the natural world. His meticulous attention to detail and unwavering commitment shine through in every painstakingly crafted. Fossil, in his YouTube videos, Morin shares not only his process but also insider knowledge about identifying fossils on the beach and understanding the geological processes that led to the crab's preservation, he demystifies the origins of these extraordinary finds, shedding light on how the crabs became encased in coquina rock and why they remain remarkably well-preserved even after millennia. Meanwhile, on the shores of Satellite Beach in Brevard County, Florida, another astonishing discovery awaits unsuspecting visitors, at first glance, the weathered gray rocks scattered along the coastline may appear unremarkable, perhaps mistaken for ordinary pebbles or relics from a pirate's tail, yet, hidden within these seemingly mundane stones lies a treasure trove of ancient secrets, a collection of 110,000-year-old ghost crabs perfectly preserved within Coquina Rock, the Atlantic Ghost Crab. Known scientifically as Ossipode Quadrata, is a creature of fascination with its distinctive Appearance and behavior, encased in coquina rock, a sediment composed of ground-up shells, the ghost crabs found on the beaches of Brevard County offer a rare glimpse into the past, these remarkable specimens, preserved in their natural habitats, provide invaluable insights into prehistoric ecosystems and the lives of these elusive creatures. Despite their age, these stone crabs retain their original form, their claws tucked beneath their bodies in a serene posture, it is believed that they perished in their shelters, succumbing to cold temperatures before being entombed in the Anastasia Formation for millennia, today, rising sea levels and human activity have unearthed these ancient relics, offering a unique opportunity for lucky beachcombers and scientists alike to marvel at their splendor, yet, amidst the vast expanse of the shoreline, spotting these stone crabs is no easy feat. Some specimens bear a striking resemblance to regular rocks, requiring a discerning eye to distinguish them from their inert counterparts, nevertheless, for those who possess the patience and passion for discovery, these stone crabs serve as a testament to the enduring allure of the natural world and the wonders that lie hidden beneath the surface. The unveiling of ancient relics continues to captivate the world, as paleontological treasures emerge from the depths of time, each holding a unique story waiting to be discovered. Among these remarkable finds is an ancient fish fossil, Believed to have lived 200 million years ago, poised to fetch a staggering $50,000 at an upcoming auction, this exceptional specimen, belonging to the coelacanth taxon, is hailed for its remarkable preservation and rarity, making it the highlight of an auction featuring a plethora of ancient artifacts, including the skull of a woolly rhinoceros, the coelacanth, known colloquially as the Lazarus fish, earned its biblical name after its astonishing rediscovery in 1938, initially thought to have been extinct for 70 million years, live specimens of this enigmatic creature surfaced at an open-air market in South Africa, sparking awe and scientific curiosity, this rediscovery prompted the species to be dubbed Lazarus, for its miraculous resurgence from the brink of extinction, now, a 200 million year. Old fossil specimen of this iconic fish is poised to command attention at Summer's Place auctions in West Sussex, a testament to the enduring fascination with prehistoric life originating. From fossil grounds around Solnhofen, Germany, renowned for yielding exceptionally well-preserved fossils, this coelacanth fossil offers a glimpse into the ancient seas teeming with life millions of years ago, Rupert van der Waal, director of the auction house, expresses pride in presenting such a rare find, emphasizing the scarcity of coelacanth fossils on the market. 
This particular specimen showcases the distinctive features of the coelacanth, offering insights into its evolutionary lineage and bridging the gap between fish and amphibians alongside the coelacanth, the auction boasts an impressive array of prehistoric treasures, from dinosaur eggs to fossils preserved in amber, offering collectors and enthusiasts alike an opportunity to acquire pieces of Earth's ancient history. Among the notable items is a woolly rhinoceros skull dating back at least 10,000 years, expected to fetch a substantial sum. Alongside a mammoth tusk weighing a hefty 119 pounds in a parallel tale of discovery, a young boy's serendipitous find on a Dorset beach adds to the allure of ancient treasures. Charlie Natha's chance discovery of a 600-gram lump of ambergris, a rare substance formed in the innards of sperm whales, holds the promise of a windfall, with estimates suggesting it could be worth up to 40,000 pounds. This floating gold, as ambergris is often called, has fascinated scientists and treasure hunters for centuries. Its rarity and unique properties making it highly sought after in perfumery and medicine as Charlie dreams of using the proceeds from his find to create a nature reserve for animals, the allure of ancient relics continues to captivate the imagination, reminding us of the enduring mysteries and wonders that lie buried beneath the sands of time, mythologized for millennia, these ancient treasures serve as tangible links to our planet's distant past offering glimpses into lost worlds and inspiring wonder and fascination for generations to come, the enigmatic substance known as ambergris, often referred to as floating gold, has long captivated the imagination with its mysterious origins and coveted properties, formed within the digestive tracts of sperm whales, ambergris is believed to serve as a digestive aid, expelled by the whale into the ocean where it undergoes a transformative journey, initially soft and foul-smelling. This organic matter floats upon the waves, gradually maturing over the years through exposure to sun and salt water, eventually, it solidifies into a smooth, waxy lump with a sweet fragrance, prized for its use in perfumery despite its association with luxury and intrigue, ambergris carries a controversial past, with concerns surrounding its ethical and environmental implications, as the sperm whale remains a vulnerable species, facing threats from habitat loss and human activities such as hunting, the harvesting of ambergris raises ethical questions about the welfare of these magnificent creatures. In a stark reminder of the potential dangers lurking along the coastline, a harrowing incident serves as a cautionary tale for beachgoers, Ian Stewart, a dog walker enjoying a leisurely stroll along the shore, unwittingly encountered a perilous hazard disguised as a harmless beach pebble, mistaking the vibrant orange and amber stone for a decorative trinket, he innocently slipped it into his pocket, unaware of the impending danger. Moments later, tragedy struck as the lump of white phosphorus ignited, engulfing Mr. Stewart in flames and inflicting severe burns across his lower back and thighs, the sudden eruption of Fire left him grappling with excruciating pain and enduring physical scars, necessitating weeks of intensive medical treatment and skin grafts to aid his recovery. Reflecting on the harrowing ordeal, Mr. Stewart emphasizes the importance of vigilance and caution when exploring coastal environments. His experience serves as a sobering reminder of the unseen hazards that may lurk beneath the sand, urging others to exercise caution and mindfulness to prevent similar incidents as he continues on his journey of healing, Mr. Stewart remains grateful for the unwavering support and care provided by medical professionals during his darkest hours, their dedication and expertise have been instrumental in his recovery, instilling a sense of gratitude and admiration for their tireless efforts amidst the allure of ancient treasures and the wonders of the natural world, Mr. Stewart's tale serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of life and the importance of safeguarding against unforeseen dangers, his courageous spirit and resilience in the face of adversity inspire others to tread carefully along the shoreline, cherishing the beauty of the ocean while remaining vigilant to protect against hidden perils. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next heartwarming story.